This is lesson number 34 in the Paint with Lead series of short lessons. Well, with this scene, we'll move into the mountains a little bit. So we'll have a bit of a mountain range coming towards us. The line of the top of the mountains will be well above the middle line of the painting. I have here white, burnt umber, crimson, cobalt blue, that's burnt sienna, warm yellow, Indian yellow, raw sienna, and over here, well out of the way, I have a green. That's viridian green. It's a very strong colour. I don't want it to get in here. So we pick up plenty of white on a brush. That's about a one inch house painting brush. We'll start right across the top of our canvas. Crisscross, crisscross, pretty paint. This is acrylic paint. It's running well today. Pretty paint. That's the top. And the mountains will come across about there. So then, without cleaning my brush, I'll pick up some blue and we'll crisscross the blue into there. I better clean my brush now. A bit more blue. And put it right in the corner. Crisscross it across. Crisscross, crisscross. And then slowly move down into the white. But don't overtake all your white. You want it paler at the bottom than at the top. And that's not too bad. I'll draw it out with long brush strokes to give it a little bit of a flat area. And then with a round or bristle brush, I'll make a colour that's really a grey. About like that, that's a grey, and I'll clean the brush again, I don't want too much. And then just a tip of burnt sienna, put it in there. You can't see that, but you'll, you'll see it later. And the brush has the dark on the one side, I'll leave a little bit of paint on there, and a lot of white, and somewhere in there there might be a bit of burnt sienna. Now we need clouds, I don't want the clouds right above our head. So let's start up here on the masking tape and see what happens. There we are. Bring the clouds down. Oh, there's that burnt sienna. It's just coming up there. A little tiny bit of it. And slowly turn the brush to bring the white off. Slowly turn the brush a bit more. And then brush in the bottom of your cloud. Note again. And here. A bit more like that. Make the clouds up as you go along. They look good. Leave them. We can always change them later. We can always put a tree over them if we have to. Clouds. And knock that bit off there. And then that cloud looks like they can't be on the other ones. And then with a dry brush, just brush them over lightly. Clean the brush there. Just lightly. Let them move. Now that cloud's up on the masking tape. We're not going to see that later anyway. I'll also use this brush. Pick up some blue and put it on where your mountains will be. Something like that and brush it in. That's our blue mountains, but they're much too blue. So pick up some white and bring it up from the bottom of the mountain. Bring it in like that. I need some more paint. A bit more white. Put it below the mountain. Bring it up into your mountain. Scrub it in until you get the tone you want. Bring it down. Now that mountain needs a bit of shape in it. We can't just have boring old flat mountains. How's that? A bit of shape there, a bit of shape there. That's okay. This one, I don't like the shape of it. Change it to that. And this one, something like that, like that. And on the top. Leave a little bit of a rough edge on the top. You see that? Yeah. And then scrub in there. A little bit more white. And that gives you your misty, distant mountains. And you can bring them down and shape them so one comes in front of the other if you wish. But leave that misty look there. It's a little bit overdone there. Let's put some more white in there. Now, that's our distant mountains. Now we come to a mountain a bit closer. And with that mountain, we add a little bit of crimson. And paint him in there. You can say you can see him. There, yeah, something like that. So that one's a bit closer. Crisscross, crisscross our white in. Hmm. Clean the brush. 
And let's come closer again. There. Let's come in from here, say. That's a bit too red. So I'll go back to the blue and I'll scrub some blue in there and correct it. And clean the brush here. So then I'll pick up a little bit of raw sienna and just brush it there and there and there. That's a bit too much. You can have it like that if you want to, but I'm going to come further forward so I'll brush it back again. Down. And then I'll load the brush again with these colours, especially the blue. You see how the raw sienna has turned that slightly green? Here's where I need to change brushes. I'll load this brush with colour so it's not a dry brush. There. And a bit of that too. More blue. There it is. Okay. Then I'll clean the brush. And then pick up the colour I need on one side and the dark on the other. That's toned down a little bit. That's what I want. And it's a little bit dark. So we'll go for the lighter blue. Put some blue in there. That's better. Bring it up over there. Well, you can have great fun with this. Come down again. A few more. Right up to the edge of the painting here with this. We'll go up to there. And then down. Ooh, we need some colour under there. Now there's not much paint on my brush, just a little bit. And that looks like, just looks like the Australian bush. Dark, dark, dark. Get the dark, use the dark bit of the brush. The light is the light bit of the brush. Now reload. We'll work with the blue. And we'll have some raw sienna on the other side. And let's come in, see with the hill here, something like that. There, and come up. Trees, trees, trees. Clean the brush. That's a bit dark. Pale it down a little bit. I just put a little bit of white on that dirty brush and that pale that down a little bit. Now with the raw sienna in this, more raw sienna in this, Littlest touch of that green, very careful now. There. We'll have a paddock. Comes from there, comes there, there, maybe there, there, and there. I'll move my brush there and clean my brush here. Now, by loading my brush again with the darks and lights, we're coming into a bit of ready now and a little bit of that green in there. And pick up some of this, plenty of that, a little bit of that. Oh, that's too green. There. That's what I want. The dark on one side, the light on the other. Too bright. Let's use the bottom of the brush, see what happens there. That's a bit better, but still a bit too bright. I'll take that quite a bit off the tip of the brush. There. That's a bit better. Now down in the gullies there's trees and I haven't enough dark on there I'll add some dark and put a little bit more dark in there, that's better that's better not too bright yet we've still got the Indian yellow to go which is a very bright colour Here. You can't see this very well what's happening here. It's not very refined. And the brush again. That's about the colour I want. Put them there. There's some scrub in there. And because we're not dark enough, I'll go darker. That needs to be lighter up there correspond with the lights here. There we go. Okay, 
see in the brush up here. Load the brush for the other side. Plenty of blue, plenty of crimson. Mix them together so you get all these colours. Not too much green, that's too much. That's a very strong colour. A little bit of green here. Only short of raw sienna. A bit of raw sienna. A bit of green in there. Okay. Brush is loaded. Dark on one side, not dark enough. Dark, light. I should be able to put these trees in here now. Tap, 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 tap. Up the hill, down the hill. Not too pointy, not too big. These are curves. Just curves of the hills, the rolling hills. In a flat area. In a flat area. Now we must fill in this area here. We're getting a little bit more crimson and a bit more raw sienna in there so it goes grey. And we'll fill in this area here and we'll move it to the darker colour. And on that I'll use some Indian yellow and white. And bring it down like this across your painting in a pleasant curve. Touch it up a little bit, especially on the edge. We don't want it too don't want to take your eye off the picture too much. There and here. It'll mix with the blue that's underneath. Load the brush again, load it definitely. And this time, green. And look at that brilliant colour. Beautiful. These are the trees that are close to us. There. You see that green, how strong it is? That's why we keep it for last. Don't let that green get back there. That looks boring there, I'm not sure what's there, so put something in there. Reload the brush, plenty of green, and come in the other side. unload the brush. Always in a curve. Now I need to load the brush with more blue. I'm short of blue. Oh, that's a lot of blue. That's okay. Make it grey. And have our yellow come in here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Mm, there. Don't mix your colours. Keep them crispy. I'd like to see that green come a little bit more green. That's it. And I should get a real deliberate tree just here now. Like that. And another one. You see if I push hard, I get a big tree. Oh, let's have trees here. Like that. Just fill the corner in now for what we want and see what we want later. Add the brush again. And fill in these little bits not finished here. You haven't got complete control over what's happening. You put a tree on and it gets bigger than what you need, well, it's a big tree. on one side, the right's on the other side, a little bit of white, and this should be our biggest and darkest tree, so it will be something like this, in this area here. Now my brush has run out of dark, don't keep dabbing if your brush runs out of dark. Load it properly, clean the other side, pick up the yellow, bit of green, bit of green and white, a bit more yellow on the outside. And then, when you come back to your painting, you get nice crispy darks, and that's what we want. Right here in the corner, very dark. And finish off here. 
So let's load the knife. Just the edge of the knife like that. And touch your breeds as well. Not too many because they're too straight. And the tractor's already in the way. And the gum trees are usually straight, so let's have a few straight ones here and there. Just a few little pieces like that. Not a lot, just a little bit. And across the other side. Not much. And to show distance, I'll put a bird in. We'll have a bird. Let's have one here. And one here. We'll have a look and see what we've got. Well, that's a rather typical scene of Australia. Well, with that, remember to keep your mountains paler in the distance, white coming up from underneath, and then coming into the crimson as you come forward and then coming into the greys as you come forward again and then the greens in the foreground. Don't let any of these colours get back into there or any of that colour get back into there. Come forward in stages. Keep things sloping in. Don't have your mountain sloping off like that. Let it be rough, a little bit rough and dark along the top, light on things, dark along the top again, sloping in, sloping in. If you see something you don't quite like, then you can put a tree over the top. 